But at the end of The Incredibles, Brad wanted to do something really special with the titles. He had this very graphic idea in mind. The end credits are basically a, a two-dimensional expression of the three dimensions that are in the actual film. It's a 60s style that was just very simple and graphic. Lou Romano was the production designer of The Incredibles, and one of the things that he had done on this movie was create these shapes that basically told the story in color. I really took like a lot of inspiration from those color scripts. Teddy would create all these little vignettes. There'd be the Brad Bird card and what was behind it, then the John Lasseter card. We would have all these sets, all these characters, a whole spectrum of shapes. So if we did something like Sandy Cartman, who was doing the special effects, we'd use an actual special effect or cloth and simulation. We actually used Helen turning into a parachute. Where I came in was seeing these two things put up on a board. I would almost look at the blank space in between the two pictures and see how do you get the camera from here to here. Also, a lot of ideas I was getting for timing and camera moves I was getting from the music. There are so many pops and little explosions, and we used every one of those. You know, when you see the film, you see the end result of what all these amazing artists have created. And I think the end credits is an opportunity to see where that design began.